Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We have a new mission. Where is our missions? That's the map. Mission log. Prior mission. Home away from home. Okay. The Patriarch gave us an old pre-war airbase to serve as our headquarters in Colorado. He told us to get the base up and running with the help of Marshal Kwan and Sage Greatsky. Okay. Talk to Marshal Kwan and Sage Greatsky. Alright. Let's go do that. Whose job was that? Let's head inside. There's Sergei Gretzky and there's Marshal Kwan. Let's start with Marshal Welcome, Kwan. Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Okay. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. Okay. What were the Dorsey's after? Why are these alarms going off? Uh, what were the Dorsey's after? The Patriarch. After? Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry okay. about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. Okay. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Okay. Angry robots? Why are there angry robots? So this place is ours now? Easy enough. We'll be right back. Yeah, angry weird, robots. huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah! Let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself uh, think. Into the raw room and make the bases and wake the bases main systems. Okay. Uh, is that the war room here? I wonder. Let's have a quick look around. Can't really see anything this way. Lock picking impossible. Lock picking impossible. So we're going. We're, we're going this way. Fine. All right. Servitor robot. Servitor robot. Okay. Uh, do do we need to kill the robots or? I rape? I rape a lime, okay. You rape the alarm. Okay. This place has been out of surface for decades. Have you been on guard this entire time? We can't kiss ass, we can't sneaky shit. Whoops, our mistake will be on our way. The government reserve is long gone. You're standing guard over nothing for no reason. Attack the security robots. Let's do that. Foolish? That order is invalid. A century out of date. True, we are fool foolish, but so is the order or attack. Uh. That order is invalid. Okay. They didn't like that. Combat. Jesus. Okay. That enemy has armor, which means that it can block some of your incoming damage. Formerly, all weapons have a penetration stat. If your weapon's penetration stat is equal to or greater than your enemy's armor, your weapon will deal full damage. Okay. If your weapon presentation that less than targets, uh, we already read that, didn't we, in the first or second episode? Okay, uh, let's attack you. Let's attack you again. And let's defend. Then there's you. Wow! You definitely need. Some healing. And then let's take you out. If we can't, we can't. Defend. Alright. 
right. Let's head over there. Take you out. So charge up this ability. Uh, leap up and slam the ground, sending out a stunning shockwave around you. Okay, let's do that. Nice. Nice. Crushed heat sink and a combat analysis processor. Processor from one of the many killer robots that seem to be so in vogue these days. It's perfectly needed to calculate all the different ways to kill your sorry ass. Okay, we'll loot everything. Shorted control chip, even if you could plug this into something, it's all burnt out. Okay, twisted hydraulic, more twisted than your sister. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, Purified tar. This extremely sticky sludge gets everywhere and doesn't want to let go. It might help have a use as a glue or epoxy. Alright. Let's check that out. Okay. That wasn't much use. Let's check that out. This terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers off, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access the menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine's for commands identity. It replies, "Command empty. Designated. Designate new command. Uh, install yourself as command." A camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your face slowly appear on the screen, line by line. Command recognized. Sure, security alert cancelled. Oh, thank God. Achievement unlocked. The new law. So, a new steed achievement. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. Yeah, I'd like to know that. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been okay. skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Lovely family. You're looking for protection when they attack? Are you asking us to become assassins, so you need us to round them up? You want us to act as emissaries to your children, make peace? Uh, are you asking us to become assassins? What? You think I want to kill my kids? You think I'm even afraid of them? I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when okay. I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Okay, a little bit nicer family now. Uh, perfectly clear. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the eastern plains. Anything else you need to know? Probably. We need more background in case before we go after them. We have a few things we'd like to ask about the Dorsey's and the ambush. Uh, thank you for the briefing, Patriarch. Uh, we have a few. Uh -huh. We'd like to know something about the Dorsey's. Who are the Dorsey's? Do you think Vic, Val, or Liberty were behind the attack on, your, on our convoy? Why do you say that? Ambers was your fault. All right, knock about Dorsey's. Who are the Dorsey's? The last dregs of a treacherous family. 
Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Okay. Possibly. You but I know the doors from or the old days. Any of the kids? They don't take orders well. Behind the then again, I wouldn't have guessed ambush. they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. Okay. So, yeah, he thinks probably one of his kids is behind it. Uh, why do you say the ambush was your fault? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Hmm. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Okay. All right, enough Good. about the Dorseys. What else do you need? Uh, well, uh, we need more background on your kids before we go after them. What do you want to know? One thing, you must have plenty of competent people in Korea. Why ask us to deal with your children? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The hundred families, the gippers, the marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Okay. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. Alrighty. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. Good point. What should we know about the mm. victory? Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Sounds like it would be better to put him down. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. Guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Hmm. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's going to do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. All right, so he might be a good place to start. No other survivors are on Conroy? That's great news. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. Okay. What kind of man is Valor? <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. <laughs> okay. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. Either this guy was a terrible, terrible dad or... His kids just weren't born right. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Okay. Uh, so Valor isn't no, dangerous? but the Gippers are tough and well-armed. And Denver's a death trap. Okay. Um, tell us about Liberty. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Okay, so she's a dictator. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. Okay. 
You're expecting her to try to usurp you? <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. Okay. Thanks for her info. We'll do our best to best them. We'll do our best with them. You okay. better. Anything else? Uh, thank you for the briefing. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Okay. New mission. Cornered rats. Talk to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. Uh, Dorseys, those Enjoy will be a pleasure. Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want a return on my investment. All right, okay. let's move out. Okay, mission completed. Home away from home. Mission log. You have a new mission to view it. Details use J to open the mission log. Okay, J. J. Mission types. Primary missions progress to the main story. Secondary missions are optional side quests. You just received the primary mission cornered rats. So the next step should be paying a visit to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're ready for any of those yet. We don't have any secondary missions. And we've completed these three. Okay. Shortly before we arrived at Peterson Air Force Base, a large group of Dorseys no, uh, yeah, attacked Colorado Springs. The attack failed and most of the holdouts are holed up the garden, in the Garden of the Gods. The Patriarch asked us to help his marshals deal with them. Rewards, Ranger HQ, Brick Warden, Merc Armor, Merc Helmet, Merc Leggings. Okay. Short talk to Sheriff Daisy in downtown Colorado Springs. The Patriarch said we can start earning some goodwill by helping its marshals deal with the remainder of the Dorsey forces. We should talk to Sheriff Daisy at the Marshal headquarters in Colorado Springs. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, let's just see. Did we level up or anything? Okay, inventory intro. Welcome to the inventory screen. From here you'll be able to see all the items you're carrying, view their stats and information, equip them to your characters, and more. There are no limits on the number of items you can carry at once. That's nice. Uh, you can right-click on any of your items to see extra act actions you can do with them. For example, this is an easy way to quickly heal up your rangers after combat. Okay. To view your character stats, you can left-click the Arrive Stats button while in the inventory screen. These stats are primarily determined by your attributes, but certain skills, your equipment, and any active status effects will influence them as well. Any weapon can be broken down into spare parts by field stripping it. If you have a very low bar skill, you can sometimes get a better price from merchants for the parts than the weapon itself. With the Scrounger's Touch perk, field stripping also has a chance to rent weapon mods. Okay, Scrounger's Touch, okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna break down most of these weapons. Uh, let's see. Uh, you have this right now, 24 to 32. This only has 18 to 24. So that's the better weapon. And so I think I'm gonna break down some of these uh, weapons, but it's you who's gonna do it. Uh, let's field strip that. Yes. Okay. So maybe not. Let, let's see. So, all right. Let, let's try it with one more. Let's try it with the hailstorm here. Uh, so that's worth 145. So let's try field stripping it, and we'll get energy cells. That's it. One energy cell. 
Hmm. Okay. I guess that's something that we need to learn as we go. But we did level up, I guess. Increasing attributes. Starting at level 3, your rangers will earn one attribute point per level. Attributes always cost one point to operate. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster, shoot straighter, or hit harder? There's an attribute for that. Okay. Uh, okay, so coordinate coordination is action points max plus two, action points plus two, status effect resistance plus twelve percent. Luck is a lot of stuff. Penetration plus one, lucky action chance, lucky crit chance, lucky mega crit chance, lucky evade chance, lucky crit resist, lucky double healing, luck. Double money, lucky double scrap. Okay. Awareness is hit chance plus five percent, perception plus two, range damage bonus plus fifteen. That's kind of nice. Uh, strength is uh, con plus fifteen, con per level plus three, melee damage bonus plus nine, throwing range plus zero point three meters. Equip items wearing. Three strength to clout penalties. Okay, speed. Combat speed goes up plus 0 0.4, evasion plus 12, initiative plus 16. Uh, and intelligence. Critical chance plus 10, critical damage plus 0 0.5, critical heal chance plus 10%, critical heal bonus plus 0 0.5 times, gain plus one skill points every two intelligence. Intelligence seems really nice. Uh, charisma strike rate plus 6%, leadership range plus 6 meters, experience bonus plus 6%, mission reward bonus plus 3%. I think I want a way awareness for him. Yeah. Or let's undo. Confirm. Alright, so instead of so it goes up three percent and the hit chance goes up one percent if we choose it. That is not a whole lot, is it? Uh, intelligence. It might be better to just pull it put it into a t intelligence at least twice. So that we get more skill points. I think I want to do that. Yeah. No, oh, no, 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 no. Skills. I think we'll go up one more in automatic weapons. Mm. And then maybe up one in barter. So, if we look at her, no, we didn't give her any of that either. How is her intelligence? Not great. Hmm. I think I will stick it in intelligence for her as well. Just to get those extra skill points. And then we will go up. Hmm. Right, so he's more intelligent. Which, to me, means that he would be better at bartering. So let's give him a barter. Two barters. No, no, one barter. One barter. Uh, undo changes. Did we... No, we didn't put that in there. We'll put that in there for... Uh, 
their assault rifles, and then a fodder. Okay. Confirm. And then you... So he has luck picking, right? Where? No. Oh yes, it's, it's there. It's there. Uh, so I'm thinking for a general skill for her, or an exploration stat for her. I'm thinking maybe armor or weapon modding. What will it cost to get this? Three, two only. So let's get that. And then we'll get armor modding as well. Okay. That works for me. Okay. Let's check this out. What does this... This terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. All seems normal. Examine the security systems. The state of supports indicate all is normal at the moment. An option displaying all security alerts shows a number so long ago it goes so long it goes off the right edge of the screen. Read the old security logs. Log data backed up to archive room server. The state of reports indicate all is normal at the moment. An option displaying all Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can't uh, return to the top menu. No, step away. Okay, so we can't really do anything. We need someone with some computer skills. Alright, but we can now explore the base a bit. It looks like. Ranger, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting. That kind of thing. Okay. Uh, well, we'll 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 get back to you on that. I just want to check out this area here. Uh, there's a door. That's open. That. Who's this? Please, don't shoot. The woman is gaunt. Her clothes are ragged. She's surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you you with fear and mistrust. Who? Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. Del Hackett. We are the Rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? The other soldiers wouldn't want us around. I know. It's not that we want to cause trouble for you. Few of us might be able to earn our keep. We're not trained fighters, but. We can defend ourselves with a knife or a club. She glances hopefully at her comrades, all of whom are as gaunt and weather-beaten as her as she is. Uh, where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Okay. Mm. Did you set Not off the security systems? Okay. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago. So we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left... All the doors slammed shut, and the alarms started whooping. Don't okay. know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks, and we never set anything off before. Okay. Can't go live in the We're city. We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed, and more are always coming. Okay. Uh, let them stay, or make them leave. I think. 
we'll let them stay. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. The refugee's haggard face breaks into smiles. A few of them hug each other. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Yeah, no problem. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us? Hear that, everyone? Sure, no problem. We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Let's check that. Oh, that's customizing. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. We're fine with the way you look. Is there anything else here that we can check out? The container here? A soldier's note, a Colorado dollars, and a cashier watch. Ooh. The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes and he's been dead long enough for the body to grow cold, but not long enough to rot. Give the body a cursory glance. The limbs of the body are contorted and his face is locked in grims of pain, but you can't stab definitely establish the cause of death. Okay. You step away from the body. What's going on with you? <laughs> well, uh, I, I think the definition of a dead guy means not all right. Well, we'll uh, continue on and talk to the prisoner and so on in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I hope you're enjoying Wasteland 3. I am having a lot of fun. If you are enjoying it, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like. It helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me. And if you have any comments, uh, tips, or anything, I'd love those too. No spoilers though, please, because it is a blind playthrough. And uh, if you're not subscribed, why not subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so that you are notified when new videos comes up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.